This tutorial will give you a basic guide on how to set up the Ingram Micro products data source. Please note that Ingram Micro does not provide product and pricing information in a pre-configured database format. Instead, the product file will be available in the form of a delimited text file. For this reason, a QuoteWorks native product database will first need to be created, and then QuoteWorks can import the text file containing the product and pricing information that Ingram Micro provides. We recommend that you familiarize yourself with two chapters of the QuoteWorks manual before watching this tutorial video. The Importing Products chapter, as well as the Creating and Maintaining Products and Services database chapter. To get started, you'll need to download the Ingram Micro product list from the Ingram Micro website. This list will be available in delimited text format. For ease of use, we recommend that you download the Ingram Micro price file to your QuoteWorks directory. In order to download this file, you'll need to contact Ingram Micro Electronic Commerce Support. You can contact them at the number you see on your screen. In the event that this number is no longer valid, you can always get the latest Ingram Micro contact information from the Linking to Ingram Micro section of the QuoteWorks manual or the Ingram Micro website. In QuoteWorks, select the Products, set up Product Sources menu, then click the New button. Since you'll be importing the text file into a QuoteWorks native database, select QuoteWorks as the database type. If you're using the standard edition of QuoteWorks, then this will be your only option. This next screen provides you with two choices. The first choice allows you to link to an existing QuoteWorks native database. A scenario in which you'd use this option is when you're sending a native database from your main office to a remote PC user of QuoteWorks who does not have that product source. Typically, remote PC users are laptop installations. The second choice is to create a new QuoteWorks native database, which is the option we're going to select. If you've enabled individual product data source level security in QuoteWorks, then you'll see this next window. You can enable or disable this setting from the Security tab of the Tools Options menu. Enabling this option allows you to control the level of access your QuoteWorks users have for this data source. You can find more information about QuoteWorks security features in the User Maintenance and Security chapter of the QuoteWorks manual. Once permissions have been set, click Next. You'll now see two checkboxes. Typically, your Ingram Micro Products list contains more than 25,000 items, in which case it's recommended that you do not select this checkbox. The second option will enable the Dynamic Manufacturers folder for the Ingram Micro product source from the Product Lookup window. Please refer to the Organizing Products and Folders chapter to determine whether you'd like to enable this feature or not. For now, we'll go ahead and select it, and I'll cover it briefly when we're finished with the import. You can always go back later and edit the database and deselect this option if you decide. Once you've made your selections, click the Finish button. It's recommended to name the product data source Ingram Micro, just as you see on your screen. This is especially important for users of the QuoteWorks Real-Time module, which is an optional add-on component to the professional and corporate editions of QuoteWorks. On this screen, we recommend that you take the default of Ingram Micro. However, you do have the option to change it if you like. Click OK. Now this will take you back to the Product Data Source Setup window, where you'll see the newly created Ingram Micro Product Data Source. At this point, the database will be available in the Product Lookup window. However, you won't have any products in the data source yet. Close the Product Data Source window, and then select the Products Import Wizard menu to import the Ingram Micro Delimited Text File that you downloaded from the Ingram Micro website. Now I'm going to choose an import template that I've pre-configured. You can find information on import templates in the Importing Products chapter of the QuoteWorks manual. I'd like to point out that Ingram Micro uses two-part descriptions for their items. What this means is that the first and second parts of the descriptions of the Ingram Micro items are located in separate fields within the text file. Now you can combine the fields by using the following method. Note how I'm simply typing the second field number manually, making sure to use the brackets around the field number. This can also be done for other fields if you need to. For example, if you need to combine the data from two fields in the text file into a custom field in QuoteWorks. On this step, you can see the Advanced Mappings window. 
Here you can map additional fields by selecting the field from your text file on the right, then choosing the QuoteWorks field on the left, and selecting to map or unmap. Now click Next until we get to the last step. We're now presented with two options. We can choose to not save the mappings as an import template, or if we've made any changes to our import template, we can save those changes now so that the next time we re-import a newer Ingram Micro products file, the mapping changes will be remembered. Additionally, we can also save it as a new import template by giving it a different name. We can save the changes to the existing template by either clicking the Save icon or just clicking the Start Import button. When you choose to save the changes, you'll be prompted to confirm that you wish to update the template. Click Yes, and the import will begin. Depending on the size of the import file, the import may take several minutes. For consideration of time, I've gone ahead and fast-forwarded the import. When the import is complete, you'll receive this notification and will have the opportunity to view the import log if you wish. For now, we'll click No. Now let's open the product lookup window. You can use the products lookup menu or just press the products button from the toolbar. We can now see the Ingram Micro product source. We'll expand the database and you'll see the manufacturers folder. This folder breaks down all the Ingram Micro products by their manufacturer. I'll expand the manufacturers folder to illustrate. Now I'll choose a part and add it to our quote.